In this video, we're going to integrate one over five minus six x. In order to do this problem, we're going to do a u substitution. So we'll start by letting u be the piece on the bottom so that we can use a familiar formula. So we'll let u equal to five minus six times x. So that's the first step, is you make the bottom piece u. So now we have to take the derivative. So the derivative of u is du, so du. The derivative of five is zero. The derivative of this piece, uh, well, the derivative of x is one. So we just get negative six times one. So we just get negative six dx. This is a nice problem because it's not like super easy, but it's still pretty easy. So now we have to make this look like this. So here there's a one dx. Here there's a negative six dx. So we have to get rid of the negative six. So to get rid of it, we'll divide both sides by negative six. So dividing by negative six, dividing by negative six, these cancel. We can write this as negative one sixth du. And the reason you do that is because in the next step, we're actually gonna pull out the constant. So we have to have some foresight here. So this is dx. All right, good stuff. So now we can make the substitution. So now you'll see what I'm talking about, that foresight, that knowing that we typically pull constants out. So dx is gonna get replaced with this. So I'll pull out that constant, boom, there it is. So we have this, we still have the one. And then this piece here, this piece is just your u, so you get u. So now, this is the formula that we were using from the beginning. Uh, this is going to become the natural log of the absolute value of u. So this is equal to negative one sixth, natural log, absolute value of u. And then don't forget the plus c. So this is always equal to ln absolute value u plus c. That's why when I initially saw the question, I thought, oh, let's let u be the bottom piece. The last thing to do is replace u with what it actually is. So this is negative 1 6, natural log. Don't forget the absolute value. And then 5 minus 6x. So 5 minus 6x, absolute value. And then we still have the plus and the c. And that is the final answer. I hope this video has been helpful. Take care.